The now 58-year-old former wife of Jim Carrey took on some of the most notable roles in television series and Hollywood films, such as Betty Cooper of the 90s Archie, Deputy Sheriff Maxine Stewart of Picket Fences, Dr. Hanlon of Chicago Hope, Director Janie Shepard of NCIS, and Lynn Harper in Designated Survivor. Often in a redhead role, but underrated, this classy actress has been in over 90 motion pictures with an estimated net worth of $8 million and is considered a bona fide soap opera star. Get to know her more in these staggering facts about the celebrity life of Lauren Holly. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Let's start. The Pennsylvanian Actress she was born on the 28th of October, 1963 in Bristol, Pennsylvania, but she was raised in Geneva, New York. Her parents, Grant Holly and Michael Ann Holly, are also distinguished in their careers. Her father is a screenwriter and a literature professor at Hobart and William Smith Colleges, while her mother is a director of the Research and Academic Program at the Sterling and Francine Clark Art Institute and a prominent historian. Her two younger brothers are Nick and Alexander Innes Holly. When her brother Alexander died at the young age of 14, the family, and most particularly her father, established the A Fund at Hobart and William Smith Colleges in the memory of the deceased. Lauren became a high school cheerleader and graduated from Geneva High School in 1981. She received an undergraduate degree in English at Sarah Lawrence College in New York. The Wandering Julie of AMC the 5'4 actress started acting at just the right age of 20 in her episodic appearance as Carla Willicke for Hill Street Blues. It is an American serial police television series that aired on NBC from 1981 to 1987. When she turned 23, Lauren joined the cast of the ABC television soap opera All My Children, also known as AMC. She was part of the show from 1986 to 1989. The show was created by Agnes Nixon, and it was set in Pine Valley, Pennsylvania, modeled after the actual Philadelphia suburb found in Rosemont. The title All My Children refers to the bonds of humanity. It already debuted in the 1970s and continued its way on ABC and other networks. Lauren starred as Julie Rand Chandler. It was originally played by Stephanie Winters in 1986 and was taken on by Lauren Holly in the same year until 1989. The fictional character is a teenage runway model that tried to make ends meet by living on the streets. She was saved by the benevolent Ellen Chandler, who offered her a place to stay. Eventually, the fictional Chandler couple adopted the wandering teenager, Julie, as their own. She was Betty Cooper of the 90s. In 1990, she took on the role of Betty Cooper, the comic book character from Archie, for the TV movie To Riverdale and Back Again. Betty Cooper is considered one of the lead characters in the said comic and is known as one of the three vocalists of the fictional band The Archies. She serves as a love interest in a love triangle with the main character, Archie Andrews. The other party is her friend, Veronica Lodge, who is also part of the band. In the live-action movie of the 1990s, the main characters of Riverdale met at the 15-year high school reunion. The love triangle between Archie, Betty, and Veronica resurfaced. Deputy Sheriff Maxine Stewart and her mentor Then her big break in television came. She was cast in CBS's Picket Fences, created and produced by David E. Kelly, which ran from 1992 to 1996. It is a family drama television series revolving around the residents of a small town called Rome, Wisconsin. Lauren took the role of Deputy Sheriff Maxine Stewart. Her character, together with Custis Mandalore, who played Sheriff Kenny Lakos, are considered impulsive and slightly immature deputies, thus injecting humor into the action drama. She acted side by side with the high caliber American actor Tom Skerritt, who was best known for his roles in top of the line motion pictures. He won the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor for this drama series in 1993. Lauren considers him a mentor. She portrayed Bruce Lee's wife. She also worked in a Bruce Lee film titled Dragon The Bruce Lee Story which premiered in 1993. She portrayed the widowed wife, Linda Lee Cadwell, of the legendary Chinese martial artist. The karate master's wife is a teacher, a writer, and martial artist herself. 
She authored the biography of her husband with the title Bruce Lee, The Man Only I Knew, on which the film was based. Lauren then appeared in her former husband Jim Carrey's comedy film Dumb and Dumber as Mary Swanson in 1994. She was also cast in the 1995 remake of Sabrina by the Academy Award director Sidney Pollack. The romantic comedy drama film was based on a play and the original 1954 box office hit film by Billy Wilder, starring Humphrey Bogart and Audrey Hepburn. In the 1995 remake, it starred Julia Ormond as the nerd to chic Sabrina, Harrison Ford as the cold Linus Larrabee, and Greg Kinnear as the Casanova brother David Larrabee. It was also Greg's first starring film role. The love story revolved around the coming of age of the main character and her romantic obsession with the happy-go-lucky David. Events led her to fall for the business-minded cold brother instead. Lauren took on the role of a doctor and perfect fiancé of David. It was considered a box office disappointment in comparison to the Audrey Hepburn version, but the remake received critics' most appreciative and positive reviews. The soap opera star was also in the 1996 military submarine-based comedy film Down Periscope with the veteran comedian Kelsey Grammer, known for his famous portrayal of the fictional psychiatrist Dr. Fraser Crane. Another role that Lauren got was in the film Any Given Sunday in 1999. She also appeared in the music video Goodbye Earl by the Dixie Chicks in 2000. NCIS director Jenny Shepard. She was in Chicago Hope, the American medical drama series also created by David E. Kelly that ran from 1994 to 2000. She also appeared in CSI Miami in 2003. She then reunited with her co-stars Mark Harmon and Rocky Carroll in NCIS, a police procedural television series, as director Jenny Shepard from 2005 to 2008. In the Canadian police crime drama series Motive, she took the role of the lead medical examiner, Dr. Betty Rogers. It ran from 2013 until 2016. She worked again with Tom Skerritt for the 2014 American war drama Field of Lost Shoes. She also appeared in the horror film The Black Coat's Daughter in 2015. She also had a episodic appearances in Lucifer and Good Witch, and had a recurring role in the highly acclaimed Netflix's designated survivor as Lynn Harper, the fictional character wife of the White House Chief of Staff. In 2020, she was cast in Tiny Pretty Things, and in 2021, she had a recurring role in Family Law. Three Marriages for Lauren this American actress has been married thrice. She was first married in 1991 to the Mexican-Italian actor Danny Quinn, known for his role as Carlos, in the cult film titled Band of the Hand. After two years of marriage, they divorced in 1993. In 1994, she had a meet-up with the comedian actor Jim Carrey at the set audition of the American comedy film Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Unfortunately, she didn't get a role but they formed a romantic relationship and worked together during the filming of the American buddy comedy motion picture Dumb and Dumber. Finally, in 1996, they got married, but sadly, it only lasted a year and the couple divorced in 1997. Fast forward, she met Francis Greco on a set-up blind date in 1999. He is a Canadian businessman, investment maker, and a Yale University graduate with a net worth of $12 million. He serves as the managing director of the multinational Coke Industries, an American corporation based in Wichita, Kansas, that has numerous subsidiaries and different trades. They got engaged after 11 months and married in March 2001 in Toronto, Canada. As she married Francis Greco, she became a Canadian citizen in 2008. They adopted three children named Henry, George, and Alexander, but in 2014, the couple filed for a divorce. Lauren still lives with her children in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Can't get enough of celebrity fun facts? Go ahead and watch the next video for more doses of intrigue.